So hi there, this is Elisha and welcome you to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can find the total surface area of a cylinder. So now this question is a question that was extracted from math paper 2 that was written by the grade 9 external candidates. Without any further ado, let's take a ride. So now the problem reads, the following diagram is a cylinder with radius. So that's the radius, which is seven centimeters, and the height of five centimeters. You should take pi as 22 over seven. Okay. So now the same calculate each total surface area. So how do you find total surface area? So the so total surface area is given by two. Now since we have a circle there, we have another circle there. You need to know how to find the area of a circle. So we are finding the area of that circle, the area of that circle, and then the area of the trunk. And then we add them together. So now since there are two circles, the, the area of the circle is actually given by, by R squared. So now because there are two, we are going to multiply it by Two. two times pi r squared, then plus two pi r h. So h stands for the height. Okay, so with that formula in place, we can now collect data. We collect data. So what's pi? Pi has been given as 22 over 7. Then the radius has been given as 7. Height of the cylinder has been given as 5. What else do we need? I think that's all. So now we can say total surface area is equal to 2. Then pi is 22 over 7. 22 over 7 times the radius is 7 squared plus 2 times 22 over 7 times radius which is 7 times height which is actually 5 okay so we can actually execute everything now say 2 this one will be 49 that will be 22 over 7 times 49 we can actually simplify this one and that one so 7 there 1 7 there 7 and then we're going to add what we have here so we can multiply that out say 2 then we have 22 over 7 7 times 5 that will give us 35 so equally that can be simplified so 7 there 1 7 there that is 5 7 times 5 that is 35 okay so now what we have is this that is 2 then on the inside we have 22 times 7 then plus 2 on the outside then we get 22 times 5. So we execute what's on the inside, what's on the inside of the brackets first. So let me write that out here. So that would be 2. 7 times 2, that would be a 14. We remember 1. 7 times 2, 14 plus 1. That's 15. So that would be 154 plus. 2 on the outside, then 5 times 2, 5 times 2, that would be 10. You remember 1, 5 times 2, 10 plus 1, 11. So now, the total surface area of okay? 2 times 4, that's 8. 2 times 5, that's 10. You remember 1. Then 2 times 1, 2. 
plus that one, that is 308. 308. Then plus 2 times 0, 0. 2 times 1, 2. 2 times 1, 2. That's 220. We can now add up everything. That will be 8 plus 0, 8. 0 plus 2, that's 2. Then 3 plus 5, 3 plus 2, that's 5. 28 square centimeters. Uh, so that's how you find the total surface area of a ceiling. If it's your first time watching from this channel, make sure that you happen to subscribe and turn on the notification bell because I'm yet to roll out as many videos as I can. Don't forget to share and like the video. Thank you so much. Stay blessed.